Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the Pesukim of Bitochen. Today's verse is Tehillim 71, verse number 6. Alecha nismachni mi beten mi me'imi. I relied upon you from birth. Alecha nismachni mi beten mi me'imi ata goizi becha. You withdrew me from the beten, from the stomach, from the innards of my mother. Becha sihilasi samid, to you has been my praise always. Says David HaMelech, the way the Radak understands this verse, is that from the moment of my birth, you watched over me and you provided me with sustenance. Meaning that David HaMelech is recognizing that in the beginning, and it really goes back even beyond that. It really goes back to inception. And it goes back to the nine months that the fetus is, is convalescing, so to speak, inside of the mother's womb, where we know through the umbilical cord, everything is hooked up, and whatever the mother eats, the baby eats. Whatever the mother drinks, the baby drinks. Whatever nutrients and minerals the mother is taking, the baby's taking in. The health of the mother goes to, to the child. And whatever the mother is experiencing, the baby is going to experience. And whatever the mother is eating, and whatever the mother is drinking, and whatever the mother is experiencing, all of that is coming from the Rebbeinu Shailam, which means that from the inception of a child, of a person in this world, it's all coming and filtering through the mother and the father. And everything that the mother and the father has in their life is coming from the Rebbein Shalom. So in fact, from the very beginning, from the moment to the first spark of life that there is inside of a person's life, it is all coming from Hashem. And David HaMelech is saying, but the moment that you withdrew me from the beten, from the innards of my mother, and you brought me into this world, that's when a person is be really able to begin seeing how all of the nutrients and all the sustenance and all the parnasa and all the breath of life, it's all coming from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Think about the child that is born, that is growing inside of the mother's womb. And over there it is encased in the placenta, which is a body of water. It's not breathing on its own. It's not eating on its own. Everything is a miraculous source of life that takes place inside of there, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu makes it in such a way that a child who one day is going to breathe out of its nostrils and speak out of its mouth and eat food in its mouth as well, that child is able to exist in the waters of the placenta, completely immersed in there and protected by everything that it has. And then when that child is born, the first thing that we look for is that it should start making noise, let out a cry, switch gears from being in the amphibious type of life that it was into the world of humanity. And says David HaMelech, at that moment, the moment that you withdrew me and you brought me into this world, and it was clear to me, says David HaMelech, that you are taking care of every single one of my needs, every step of the way. And therefore, Becha in you, Silasi Samid, my praise is going to be with you forever, says David Amelech. Because you praise the one that takes care of you. You praise the one that is there for you. You praise the one that is involved with every single aspect, the biggest and the largest and the smallest aspects of a person's life. And that's you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And this is the way of Klal Yisrael. The way of Klal Yisrael is to be a makir toiv, is to recognize the goodness that our Creator does for us, to recognize all of the chesed and the rachamim, the mercy and the kindness of Hashem. The way of a Jew is to be a makir, is to recognize all of the miracles that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does with us on a daily basis, hundreds if not thousands and tens of thousands of times a day. And I realized when you withdrew me and you brought me into this world, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the miracles had already begun from the time that I was conceived. But now that I'm in the world is when I can begin to see them and recognize them and live with them. And therefore, see, Lossi, saw me, you will be my praise constantly. The more that we praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the more that we recognize Hashem, the more that we see Him in our lives, 
the greater will be the levels of Amun and Bitachin that we lift ourselves up to. And the greater will be the Simcha that we live with because when a person feels and recognizes and knows beyond the shadow of a doubt that HaKadosh Baruch has taken care of all of their needs just as He has from the time of my inception until this very moment, from the time that I was born until this very day, and beyond Be'ez Hashem. So that fills me with great joy and great confidence and great menuchas hanefesh, peace of mind, knowing that you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, are the one that has brought me into this world, and you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, are the one that I rely upon because you are taking care of all of my needs. Have a wonderful day.